Welcome to this video which shows the many new features that we have added to StruckCalc 10.0. Not only have we added many new tools to make StruckCalc even better, we've also incorporated Load Tracker, which is the most significant advance made in StruckCalc in the last 25 years. Load Tracker will save you countless hours of time by allowing you to quickly and easily transfer reactions from one member to the next. You can transfer reactions from rafters and joists directly to support beams and walls. You will also be able to transfer reaction loads from beams to beams, beams to columns, columns to beams, and columns to footings. Wall loads can also be transferred to beams, floor joists, and continuous footings. I'll give you a quick overview of how Load Tracker works. In most of the modules in StruckCalc, all you have to do is click the blue hyperlinks located at many of the input boxes. When you click this hyperlink, it will open up a list of every previously designed member in your current project. Simply click the member, select which member reaction you wish to transfer, and the live load and dead load will be added to the design. You can transfer an unlimited number of reactions to any location. These reactions will be automatically totaled and shown in those input boxes. Input the reaction location and you are ready to move on with your design. You have several options to delete any load tracker reactions if you wish. Load tracker saves a significant amount of time when you want to transfer point loads, but can save even more time when you want to transfer reactions from repetitive members such as joists and rafters. Simply choose the member and the reaction from that member and its load will be automatically converted to a continuous load on your design member. Load Tracker will not only save you time in your initial design of the project, but will save you even more time should you make any changes. You'll see that when you make a change, you can use Calculate Project, and Load Tracker will update the loads on the members for the entire project and let you know if any have become inadequate. We've added two new modules to StruckHalc. The first one we'll show you is the wall module. This module allows you to design support walls from one level of loading, two levels of loading, and three levels of loading. All you have to do is put in the tributary widths of the loads similar to other StruckHalc modules. You can also transfer loads from other members you've designed in StruckHalc using Load Tracker. Simply click the hyperlink and select which members are loaded on that particular wall. What makes this powerful is that you can not only design any support footings or beams that are under that wall, but you can also transfer these wall loads to floor joists using Load Tracker. We will show you how that works later in this video. I will now show you the other module that we've added to StruckHalc. In the framing module, you can now accurately total the weights of the floor and roof assemblies and set these as your defaults for the design dead loads on your project. As you can see from the list, we have a very comprehensive list of the commonly used materials in construction. You will be able to print the list of the materials used in your project and submit them as part of your design information in your work. Now I will go over the more significant enhancements that we have made to all of the modules that are available in StruckHalc. We'll first open the footing module. As you can see, we have added a hyperlink so you can quickly and easily transfer loads from members that are bearing on your design footing using Load Tracker. Just click on the hyperlink in the square, round or rectangular footing, and it will list all the members in your project that have point loads. In the continuous footing, you can transfer any wall loads that you have designed for the project. I will now open the uniformly loaded floor beam module. As you can see, we have added a loading diagram on the screen so you can review and confirm the load design for that member. You can see the hyperlink at the point load input box which allows you to add reactions from another beam to this design. Along the right part of the screen, you can see the load tracker summary box which shows which members are linked directly above and below this beam through load tracker on your project. In the roof beam module, we have the same load tracker link and loading diagram as well as the load tracker link boxes above and below. Load tracker most significantly affects the multi-span multi-loaded beam module. As you can see, there are six load tracker hyperlinks available for points on each load of the possible three spans that are available for this module. 
There's also a uniformly loaded load tracker hyperlink as well as links available in the trapezoidal load boxes. We have also greatly improved the graphical interface in this module so that the loads you will add will show up instantly when you input them. Another valuable feature we have added to this module is an option that will allow you to quickly select the beam default values of the member you are designing. The standard default is for floor loading, but you can also select a roof beam and it will put in the proper duration factor as well as your default deflection limits for roof beams. You can also select a deck beam and it will put the floor beam deflection limits as well as the incising factor which is typically built into calculations of solid sawn deck beams. In the multi-span floor beam module, we've also added the point load hyperlink to each of the three spans should you wish to transfer loads from a different member. We have also done the same thing for the multi-span roof beam module. In each of these modules, you can see the new loading diagram which allows you to make sure that you have put in the proper beam loading conditions. In the floor joist module, we have also included hyperlinks for the wall load input boxes. This is an extremely valuable feature allowing you to transfer wall loads without having to hand calculate the end reactions from joists. When you get a chance to use this feature, you'll be amazed how much time you'll be able to save in the design of your projects. The load tracker above and below link boxes are also available in this module which will allow you to quickly check to see if you have the joists properly loaded. We've also greatly enhanced the roof rafter module allowing you to have much greater flexibility in your roof designs. We still have the single rafter span plus eave, but we have added a single span with two eaves two spans with an eave, and a roof rafter that can have up to three spans. The load from these rafters can easily be transferred to beams and walls using the load tracker hyperlinks. In the collar tie module, we have added the option to include point loads at the top of the collar tie. We hope you get a chance to try all these exciting new features that we have added to StruCalc. We are confident that with the addition of Load Tracker, you will be able to cut your time to design structural elements in your projects in half and make this aspect of design in your work much more enjoyable. We now have a 30-day free trial period allowing you to fully try these great new additions to StruCalc. If you have any questions regarding StruCalc, please call our office at one 800 279-1353. Thank you for being a valued customer of Struck Halk. <laughs>